Breaking news, Chicago Bears running back Khalil Herbert is expected to miss multiple weeks with an ankle injury. So let's talk about it, people. What is going on? Yo, Fox Sports all back at it with another video talking for some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you are a Bears fan, please do hit that big red subscribe button now. But please make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms, guys. As always, hit the bell icon. So you're in fact notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so unfortunate news, guys. The Bears have been you know, dealing with injuries the last couple of weeks and they keep piling up now. We've got running back Khalil Herbert expected to miss multiple weeks per Tom Peloroso of the NFL Network, man. And this injury happened in last week's game against the Washington Commanders on Thursday Night Football. And it was such a weird play because he never got like tackled. It wasn't another person causing uh, the injury to happen. It was his own foot himself just kind of getting his ankle stuck on the field and it just bent a weird way and yeah he even tried to give it a go afterwards they gave him the ball on a play and he just stopped in the middle of the play because he just couldn't go so we knew it was bad at that time and now we get confirmation that he's going to miss multiple weeks how many weeks we don't know if i were to guess probably at least a month man if we're talking about an ankle injury for multiple weeks probably a high ankle injury and those are never fun especially being a running back you got to be able to cut you got to be able to to move juke and, and do a bunch of things so uh, you want to take your time with those things. So I'm going to say he's going to miss at least a month here. So uh, hopefully, you know, Khalil Herbert, Juice Herbert is able to come back and fully healthy and ready to go uh, and doesn't miss much time. But yeah, man, he was running pretty well before he went down. Now, let's talk about the kind of ramifications of Herbert being out. Look, folks, this is exactly why Ryan Poles went out and signed Dante Foreman in the offseason. This is why you draft a running back, Roshan Johnson. And, in fact, now the Bears also even signed a guy off the Dolphins practice squad, a former Chicago Bear, Darrington Evans, uh, to provide more depth for the team. And so that in addition to Travis Homer as well. Now, Roshan Johnson went out with a concussion, I believe. So we don't know if he's going to be ready for the next game. And then you've obviously got Travis Homer there. We don't know his status either. That's why you have Darrington Evans uh as some insurance just in case those two guys aren't able to go. And Darrington Evans, man, remember, he played with the Bears uh, back in 2022. So just last year, 5'10", 203, uh, decent running back, provides some good depth. He actually had a 60, he actually had 65 yards against the Bears on nine carries in the preseason, played for the Bills in the preseason. So good to have some depth here. But getting back to my point, this is exactly why you signed Dante Foreman. Dante Foreman has been a healthy stretch for the early part of the season. But now it's time to dust him off, and it's time to play Dante Foreman. And he is a guy who gave the Panthers 900-plus rushing yards last year. He's not washed up. We just had too many running backs where we couldn't really get uh, carries for him, all right, because we had Herbert, you had Roshan, you mix in sprinkling, you know, a pass game in Travis Homer. But now it's time to utilize that depth. And at the running back position where you probably suffer the most injuries just from the drooling nature of the position – you got to have depth, and that's what Dante Foreman provides. So I don't think we will lose much. Of course, it's a downgrade. Clearly, Herbert's better than Foreman. But, man, if we get the Foreman from last year, oh, buddy, he is going to bring an element to this team that we miss, which is a big back who can get you some yards on short, uh, third and short, short yardage situations, goal line packages, and everything else in between. Now, expect Roshan, when he's back, to be the RB1 for sure and Foreman to be the RB2 and complement him and be a breather back. But for just next week against the Vikings, you could probably have uh, Dante Foreman as the RB1 starting running back just due to the nature of the injuries taking place of Roshan's not able to go. So I'm pretty confident in, in Dante Foreman, man. I think he's a vet running back who's got uh, you know the capability to fill in. And I just don't want him to be my RB once for the rest of the season. That's going to be Roshan and Herbert's going to come back. But for a one game, uh, you know, uh, one one game, I need a guy. I'm good with Dante for me. He can give me that. So this is why Ryan Poles went out and got that depth. And I don't think the Bears will lose much. I don't think they'll miss much. I think they'll keep on chugging. And the passing game should still be working here. The running game should just complement the passing game. I think Foreman can give you that. So hopefully he's able to fill in the void uh, for Khalil Herbert, who I hope returns as soon as possible. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this. So Khalil Herbert out for multiple weeks. We signed Darrington Evans to provide some depth, but it is Dante Foreman time.
if Roshan Johnson is not able to go next week. Let me know what you guys think as always. Thanks for watching.